Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is kind of go over how to determine the complement and the supplements uh, of an angle. So now, it's very important to understand the difference between the complement and the supplement of an angle. So basically, we need to know, well, what are, what are complement angles and what are supplement angles? Well, complement angles are two angles that have a sum of pi over 2, or 90 degrees. And supplement angles are two angles that have a sum of 180 degrees, or pi. So to basic, to put it into you from our old geometry days, is the complement of two angles are going to be two angles that add up, you know, let's say A and B, they're going to add up to give you 90 degrees. Where the supplement of two angle or supplement angles are going to be two angles that are going to add up to give you a straight angle. So for instance, let's call A or B. So basically if we're given one angle and we want to find the complement or the supplement of that angle, basically what we're going to do is we're going to do 90 degrees minus, you know, let's say we're given angle A and we want to figure out angle B. So if we're going to take 90 degrees and subtract um, A. Again, if we're given A and we want to find B, we're now we're going to take 180 degrees and subtract A to be able to then find B. Now, that is for degrees. If it's in radians, then we need to make sure that we use um, our equivalent form in radians. For 90 degrees, that's pi halves. And for 180 degrees, that is going to be pi. All right, um, and I'll show you, you know, kind of a different uh, format of way. I'll do this a couple different ways um, for the first example. So let's look at our. Um, so I have four examples up here. The first two are in degrees, and then the last two are in radians. And you could say, well, two isn't that in degrees? No, it doesn't have the degree symbol in, so that's radians as in two. So 20 degrees. Um, basically, again, as I mentioned. 20 degrees plus another angle adds up to give you 90 degrees. So if I want to find its complement, all I'm simply going to do is take 90 degrees minus 20 degrees. And therefore, I get 70 degrees. That's its complement, 70 degrees. To find its supplement, I'm going to take 180 degrees and minus 20 degrees. And therefore, I have 160 degrees. And that is going to be its supplement angle. Now, let's go to 150 degrees. So now, I do 90 degrees minus 150. And you can see that that's going to be a negative 60 degrees. Well, you can't have a negative angle as, as your complement. So therefore, there's no complement angle. However, for 180 degrees minus 150 degrees, I get 30 degrees. So the supplement angle of um, 150 degrees is 30 degrees. However, there is no complement angle. Now, let's go over to radians. And again, as I mentioned, we're going to be uh, the, the equivalent form of 90 degrees in radians is pi halves. So therefore, I'm going to have pi halves minus pi over 4. And usually, students do not like this because now I'm going back into introducing fractions. Remember, when you're subtracting fractions, you've got to have the same denominator. So I'll multiply by 2 over 2. Um, so therefore, I have pi over 4. I'm sorry. 2 pi over 4 minus pi over 4, which now you can just see that my complement is actually going to be pi over 4. Uh, for the next one, the supplement is going to be pi minus pi over 4. So again, to subtract them, I'm going to rewrite this as a whole number. So it's pi over 1. Then I'll multiply them to get to be the same denominator. So I'll multiply by 4 over 4. So therefore, now I have 4 pi over 4 minus pi over 4. And when I do 4 pi over 4 minus pi over 4, I now obtain 3 pi over 4. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, you can see that now I have 3 pi over 4. That is going to be its supplement. On the last one is 2. Uh, again, this is a radian format. Now, this one can be a little bit more confusing here because you can see, well, how are you going to do pi halves minus 2? Well, I am not going to do it um, on the board. I'm going to have to use my handy calculator. And I'm just going to have to approximate the answer. So I'll do pi divided by 2 minus 2, which is a negative um, 4.29. So therefore, again, no complement exists. You cannot have a negative number as your complement. So there is no complement. Okay, So whenever you're trying to find a complement or a supplement and you have a negative number, it does not exist. Um, then if I do pi minus 2, uh, well, I know pi is 3.14, right? So if I subtract 2, 
I'm going to get 1.3.1415. One um, you know, dot, 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 keeps on going on and on forever. Um, but therefore, I can at least approximate for that. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you determine the complement as well as the supplement of your angles. Thanks.